of that save that everyone is owning a gun. Yes, I mean everyone. It means that ill people, it's prisoners, and people that are not mentally and emotionally stable are going to be able to bear a gun. Yes. Like, there's no restrictions for it. They can just go and buy it and it will be okay. The Second Amendment, it promises that, yes, we all can bear guns. Yeah, the militia and the people and everything, but the Founding Fathers wrote that many years ago. Our society is different now. We need restrictions. We need self-control in some, in some things that we can, like, they can get into a negative circumstance. Um, I have done some research uh, throughout this winter quarter because I had also spoke about this in another class. And I, I am gonna talk about how strict measures can help reduce violence. It doesn't mean that it's gonna end it up because come on, in this world, how can you end violence in some sense? But we can't prevent it, that it increases in our society. Uh, today, I would like to share um, what's the problem of not having enough restrictions, uh, what is the negative causes of it, and how can we solve it to reduce it in some sense the violence and the crime. Okay, so there are many, many kinds of guns, and um, we have from like revolvers, pistols, the their rangers, rifles, shotguns, machine guns, <laughs> etc. We have so many. And um, the thing is that is it's okay that we have so many, but the thing is that it's so easy to get them. Like you can go to a gun shop, like you can go to um, a pawn shop as well, and or you can get it from your family, friends. It's so easy to get one. Like, you can just go, oh, okay, I buy it. Yeah, okay, good. I just pay my money. They don't need to know if I have a crime, background, or anything. Okay. Like, why? <laughs> um, according to the Second Amendment, like I said, um, we, the founding father said that, um, uh, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Okay, okay, let's not take it away from the Constitution. It's okay because we need it, it's part of us, okay. But the thing is that, like I said, we need some self-control. If we don't have self-control in anything, it can be social media, it can be anything, like we are gonna um, in some sense, we're gonna do whatever we want, okay? Um, also, our, like I said, our society is different before America was, like when the founding fathers were writing these uh, rules and, and everything, they were like, our country was, a, is, it was based on a Judeo-Christian uh, ethics. Not right now, like our society is more open-minded in many things. So um, we can see video games. They're so violent. Like, like kids are like, ah, look at this blood. Uh, like, what? <laughs> like, they're, they're, they they see like so funny. Like to see people dying. Like, they're, they're not they're not as sensitive as before. If you will be like seeing something like that before, people will be like, you know what? Get away. Get away from me, like you are going to hell or something like that. But now it's like it's normal in our lives. Um, so now that I have talked about like what are some of what's the problem here of not having restrictions and on getting a gun, I will not discuss about the consequences. It's uh, uh, getting a gun is a very easy um, process. And the thing is that with not enough backgrounds or checks, um, background checks or, or like um, psychological tests or evaluations like that, um, it can get out of control. Like for example, do you guys recognize this person? Yes, that's Dylan Roof. And he went and, and bought a gun one day 
at, at Charleston, he had previously a record of uh, being uh, arrested for drugs, and and even though like he went, can I have a gun? Yeah, sure, here it is. He got a gun. They didn't even check him. Like it was okay. Get it. It's money here. It's business, right? No restrictions. Okay. Well, he got the gun. He went to a church and he killed ten people. Yeah, so easy, right? Just buy a gun and kill people. And he was <laughs> mentally ill, obviously immature. And like I said, this can be prevented. Um, also, uh, according to the article Gun Control Facts by James Agresti, in 2004, the Office of the Inspector General in the US Department of Justice wrote that in, the, in this system, um, Many people like like get can can get prohibited of owning a gun when they're like uh, arrested of like let's say domestic violence. Yeah, okay, that's good. But uh, from someone that kills his spouse um, has the right to still bear a gun. Okay, that doesn't make sense, but still, it's not okay. Here we can see that um, uh, also. Uh, another problem is that suicides are becoming like more easier to to like happen because um, in homes where there are uh, guns, it's more likely that people die from suicides than actually from defending themselves. And now I am going to now that I have told you about the lack of background checks and how what are the consequences now i'm going to tell you about some solutions what about um always having a registered gun having some psychological test evaluations to see if the if the person is in depression or it's crazy <laughs> like <laughs> we need to know that. um uh and it, it says uh in guns act uh, as a form of multiple engineering everyone um, by James Stanford. It says that when an unarmed person gets into a fight with another unarmed person, there is a smaller risk of a serious injury. But we need to prevent this. You guys have the decision to know if we are gonna treat the guns as just a toy or we're gonna have a better mentality and restrictions that avoid this crime. Thank you.